I greet thee, unkindled one, purloiner of cinders. I am Rosarian, a blade of the dark moon. What do you wish to know? Hmm. Our deity's name was Gwendolyn, the dark sun that had watched over us and protected us as we slayed the enemies of our lords. Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, as well as him too. <laughs> yes, it was exactly like that. We needed no convoluted task. We only needed to hunt the foes of those who would threaten Lord Gwyn's legacy. And in return, Gwendolyn would protect us. And protect us he did so benevolently. Ah. How did it turn out like this? Allow me to be honest. I hadn't expected it. However, I likely should have. Then I could have been better. Over eons, or at least a long time, I fail to remember. Anno Londo. It had become Isleth, the ruins of Lost Idolus, as you know it. I trust that thou will understand when I say that it was truly barren and even before then. Many of the gods had left An Orlando. Only Gwendolyn was left. It must have been so lonely. As one of the few blades of the Dark Moon remaining, I had pledged my life to his protection, knowing that he would feel much better knowing it. And I stood by his side my blade always ready to slay those who had trespassed upon the great lord's tomb. As the need for his rage towards such a f a f an act would be nil. And many tried. They tried to claim his soul for themselves. But they had their... their retribution in the bite of my silver and I was proud I truly was and rightfully so because I had tr proven myself time and time again that I was worthy of protecting him that I was strong enough to promise that I would always be by his side for as long as I led, uh, would live Tell me, hast thou felt such a thing? The strong will to be beside one one wish to protect. Ah. It's like that then. <sighs> then many years went by. Such a long time. After the first fire was linked, then we were seeing the prolonging of the Age of Fire, or as we know it, the Age of Gods. And in the end, <laughs> it might as well have been a curse. Before long, we had known horrors beyond imagining. My dear Lord Gwendolyn, he eventually grew so sick he could not lead his own knights, and I could only watch as he got worse and worse, until eventually, Aldrich, the holy man that eventually took to devouring the gods, he was brought here to Anor 
a man. I will not recognize him as a pontiff. He approached me, or rather he approached the tomb, and he said to me that he was here for Gwendolyn, that he would not lie to me, and that he would do as he pleased. He told me that he had plans for Gwendolyn, but I warned him that as a blade of the dark moon, truly the only one that remained, that I would not sit passively as he tried to take Gwendolyn, but he did not back down. And so I raised my sword and I met him in battle. And fight valiantly I did, I know this. But alas, it was not enough to save him. Before I knew it, my spirit was standing there, only being able to watch helplessly as my dear, as Gwendolyn, alongside dear Guinevere, and who knows how many more. They were taken away, and I never saw them again. And truly, I was the only one left. Anna Londo, Isolith, call it what thou will. But this is home to me. This is where I vowed to protect my lord. Where I vowed to protect the dark sun even as it dimmed. I can hear his cries. I can hear Gwendolyn cry and fuss. I have a feeling that I know what is happening to him. And I beg of you, you must rescue him. You must kill the pontiff. You must slay Aldrich and bring solace to his tormented self. Perhaps you can succeed where I have failed. Avenge me. Avenge us all. I beg of thee. You must. For it is the only way I can rest. And for him to rest. For this eon-long torment. Go forward, please, and avenge us. For the unkindled ones, there will be many hardships, but I have faith in thee. Do not let me down, please.